Go ahead and open a new file from the Chapter 4 Datasets directory. Click the Application button. Open. In the Open File dialog, navigate to the Chapter 4 subdirectory. We're going to open the file Chapter 4 Interior Mask 01. Open the file by double clicking on the file name. Let's go ahead and save this file incrementally. In the upper left corner, click on the Application button. Save As from the menu. In the File Save As dialog, click on the Increment button in the lower right. This will increment our file and add 02 to the end of the file name. Now we're working with a new file and our original file has been saved just in case we need to go back to it. Now the client would like the back wall of the lab to perhaps, and the keyword here is perhaps, have half of the wall painted blue and half of the wall the gray concrete texture. After much discussion with your client, you're not really sure if they're ready to commit to this change, so we don't want to do anything that's going to be difficult to modify. Plus, we don't exactly know where they're going to want the division in the wall. They may want it halfway up, they may want it a quarter of the way up. We need to be flexible. We do know that there's only going to be two materials. Because we know this, we can use a blend material with a mask map to create a material for this back wall. Let's open the Slate Material Editor. Click on the Material Editor icon in the main toolbar. Holding the left mouse button down, select the Slate Material Editor option. If there's anything in your view work area, an easy way to clear it out is to drag a window around any material and map nodes that are in the work area and press delete on the keyboard. In the Slate Material Editor, look in the Material Map Browser and scroll down to the Materials Rollout. Open the Standard Rollout for Materials. In the Standard Materials Rollout, click and drag the Blend Material into the work area. You'll notice immediately that it already has two materials assigned to the Material 1 and Material 2 channels. Since we're going to replace these anyway, let's go ahead and drag a window to select them, and then press the Delete key to delete them. Now we're working with the Blend Material Shader node. It contains inputs for Material 1 and Material 2, as well as an input for the mask. There are some additional parameters that we can plug into, however, we're not interested in those at this point. We're going to create this blend material out of two materials that already exist in the scene. In the Material Map Browser, click the plus next to the Scene Materials Rollout. That will open the Scene Materials Rollout and display all of the materials that are available and assigned to objects in our scene. We're going to click and drag the paint underscore blue material into the work area. It's going to ask us if we want to make this an instance or a copy. Choose Instance and click OK. When we instance the materials into the workspace of the material editor, it means that if we edit the blue paint material at this point, it will change every object in the scene that uses this material also. To connect this material to the Material 1 input, we click on the output of the paint material and drag it to the input in the Material 1 slot. You should see a red line now connecting the output of the paint with the input of the Material 1 slot in our blend material. We're going to do the same thing with a concrete material that we have in the scene. Click and drag the concrete material from the scene materials rollout into our work area. Again, it will ask us whether we want to make this an instance or a copy. We'll select Instance and then click OK. You'll see when you drag this in that the entire shader network comes along with it. So you can always edit that shader network. Again, we're going to drag from the output of the concrete material to the input of Material 2 in our Blend Material. We should see a red line connecting the two now. Double click on the Blend Material title bar to bring up the attributes for this material. In the name type in, let's name it Wall underscore Blend and press Enter. We now have two materials assigned within a Blend Material and we have the option of using a mask. Let's assign this material to the Wall Fan object. This is the back wall of our lab. We do this by clicking and dragging from the output of the blend material. So click on the blend material output and drag that out into the scene on top of the wall fan object and release the mouse button. If we render now, we'll only see the first material because we don't have any mask assigned and the mix amount in the material is set to a value of zero, which makes it only show material one. But we have the material assigned. It's a blend material with two different submaterials. Press Ctrl-S to save the file. 